Welcome to Whiteland Restorations and today we're going to be retrieving a car from storage. Let's talk about that. Right, we've got a lot of things to move today. We have a lot of things to move today. We've got to clear some crap out of here to start with. Put some cars out the way, push a beamer up the yard, and then we've got to go and see what we've got to deal with in storage. Oh, you've got to see what we've got to deal with in storage. Let's go and check it out. Come on. Come on. Come on, Rusty. Wrong way. Oh, obviously we have to move uh, Laura's Morris first to get into the, the yeah. doors. Um, it is a mess in here. It is our storage. We put our crap in here. <laughs> Um, we've got to move this Westfield, we've got to clean all the stuff from around it. Um, we've got to move my Amazon. We've got to move this Astra, which does not steer. We've got to move these Land Rover wings. No, oh, another project to do. We've got to move this. Oh, don't say what this is. Ooh. If you think you know what this is, leave a comment below before we reveal. I'll we'll give you a little you clue. I could, I, we could take the cover off of this and still people wouldn't know what it is. Shall we do it? No. No. <laughs> um, we've got to move this Lotus, this first Lotus to get at this second Lotus. This, this is, is the, car. the car of the day. This is what we're here for. We need to get this car out. We need to get it fixed up. And this is going to be sold. This is car is coming up for sale very shortly. It is a very nice example of a Lotus Talbot. So... This is getting ready to go. It's getting ready to go. So that's what we're doing today. Getting it out. Yeah. Let's go. Car number one. Sure. I can get the handbrake quite quickly, so... Okay. As far up as we can get, yeah? Yeah. Right, there we go, there's two cars out. Laura's Traveller, the Beamer, and now we have access to the garage door. Nice. Smooth. So smooth. <laughs> thing was was a right basket case when I bought it it's the last car I went to get with my dad um, so it's got a special place in my heart for for that reason um, it had well let's say the, the floor pans weren't really floors anymore they were just massive great holes in the floors and I'd never seen a car patched up so much Ever. It was quite amazing to look at it. All the patches on the chassis rail, it was literally one over the other, over the other, over the other, along the entire car. Somebody was desperate to keep it going. And for those reasons, I just, I just love this car. It's just so cool. Um, obviously, none of those patches are left on it. But the car is now called Patches. Um, it has a brand new chassis, new floor pans, new bulkhead, um, it's got a gearbox tunnel that we fabricated in-house um, because we're putting a 
a T5R engine in it uh, with an M90 manual gearbox, uh, which is cool. Mm, um, cool. So it's going to have loads of grunt, loads of power, everything. I mean, these 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 chassis beams were strong from Volvo, and I've just upgraded them a little bit. I just put a bit thicker metal and a few tweaks. A few tweaks here and there, and this these seats uh, obviously aren't Volvo, but. I think they look really cool. This is as far as I got with the car and um, it, it will be finished, but it's at the back of the long list of things to finish. Um, I've got most of the parts and stuff, the, the bigger parts. It's all ready to finish fabricating, really. Yeah. You don't mock up engine. Oh, pause. pause. can tell us what this is uh, put it in the comments below so pause now tell us what you think this is So, tell everybody what it is. It's a Davrian. Mm, a Welsh built car. A Welsh built car, built not far from here um, in a small town called Lampeter. And it's very cool. It's one of the lowest cars I've ever come across. <laughs> I want to see you try and get in it. I mean, yeah. Go on. Right, hold on. Let's see Lou's getting the tin can. What's not even tin can, is well, it? Plastic box. see how box. small the door is. <laughs> Look. Well, I'm not going to sit on them screws to start with, am I? Go on. Any mice in here? No! There's no mice in here! Right, let's watch Lou's get in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> oh. oh, he's in. He's in, everyone. <laughs> there we go. Oh, my God. Not enough room for your legs either. We haven't got the back end on at the moment, but. Imagine a little bit more back there. You're supposed to wear a hat in here as well. How are you supposed to get a helmet on in there? I don't know. The worst bit is getting out. Let's see how let's see how snug it is. Just about I can't operate the pedals with my boots on. Mm. Right then, let's let's watch you emerge. At a petrol station. <laughs> it's like it's like Ace Ventura coming out of a Rhino. <laughs> nice. Could write up a bit of history about it and Could put do. it on the. Thing. We'll do a bit of research. We'll put it in the description. Yeah. Have a look at the engine. Mm. Look at the cool little engine here. Oh, chain driven as well. I don't know what what engine is that? It's not an, uh, an imp engine, is it? No, that's not an imp engine. No. It's a motorbike engine. It's a Hayabusa, I think. Hayabusa engine? I can't remember. 
Do you remember what it was? Hayabusa. It was a Hayabusa. Now this would make a cool will it start video. Mm. Here he is, he's come to save the day. We're gonna miss the keg. Oh, it's been round again. He's in like Flynn. <laughs> you say it's only flat at the bottom, but that one was flat at the top. Oh, flat at the top. Rusty? Okay. Yeah. We gotta pump it up, and we're gonna pump it up. Chuck. Is there something in the exhaust? In the exhaust? Yeah. Leaf? Oh. Leaves? Mice? Oh no, it's not got a nest in there, is it? Got a nest in the exhaust, I think. Oh, get blasted out to the stage started. <laughs> Hello? Anyone in there? Missing the compressor? Oh, yes. Missing. Turn a, Turn a bit more. Oof. The other one? No, not yet. That's it. Can you just 
going all the way around it. Right, we've uh, made a pile up. Look at all the cars. Lovely farmy smell now. Right. <laughs> not sure. It's not a scent blade up here, is it? No. That's the dead mouse stuck to the disc. Oh god, has this got the mouse on it? Did you have one with the mouse stuck on it? And uh, I suppose we better have a look around and see what we have to do. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. Start with a general walk around the old outside of the car. Okie dokie. Let's start at this quarter. Because that's where we are. That's where we are. That's where we are. It's handy to start where we are. Start where you are. <laughs> Right then, what we got? Dirty cars. It's what just got. dirty. It's, it's, it's really very dirty. good condition. There's a small scratch there. Um, this looks really nice. Obviously, it's it's a big sunroof model. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's not a factory edition. But if you'll that's, find that's out. done and dusted yeah. now, there's that's nothing we can do about that. Um, let's look at the uh, upside. Um, the doors and sides of the car look really good. It's in so straight. Really good condition. Um, there is, with the exception of this here, that, that is quite ugly and rusty. Um, that's probably going to be a really big hole under there. Um, mm. Anyway. With, yeah, with nothing we can't fix. No. Um, front wing looks nice. Let's have a look down the side of this car. Look how lovely and straight that is. Not bad for a dirty car. Not bad for a dirty car, that. Super. Uh, you might notice yeah. that the grill is missing. Uh, there's a few bits missing, but we have it all. We just need to put it back together. Yeah, we'll have a better look at this yeah. once we've gone around that. We shall. Um, this side of the car, again. Super straight. Really tidy. Um, this skull is going a little bit here, but not as bad as the other side. Not near as bad as the other side. Just yeah. a little bit of this drain. Maybe I'll just surface that. Um, so we definitely will be doing some fabrication on the other side, a bit of filler work and a bit of paint work. We'll probably lose a colour up here somewhere. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll figure that out when yeah. we get there. Um, Wing, Wing mirrors, mirrors are in the car. Are not on the car. But they are in the car. They are I've the seen car. them. That's a different colour to that. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, it's really good. Hinges are a bit scabby. I think they all do that, don't they? Yeah, we'll have a go at that. A little refurb on those. Back end, super straight. No, no dings. No rear ends. It's a nice car. It was a nice car when it went in storage a, fair mm. a while ago. Um, yeah, it's a nice car. Mm -hmm. um, right, let's go and have a look at that. Can you Engine bay. Uh, I don't think the alternate is supposed to be at that angle. <laughs> um, we've got some ooze oozing out there. Oh, that's proper ectoplasm that, isn't it? That's oozy. A bit of ooze. Um, the air filter is in the car. Mm -hmm. And this is a pipe that's connected that. That, that should be to the, the radiator. To the, to the rad. Yeah, so the, the rad's radiator. out. Um, no, no, that should be. Should that be to that? Mm, we'll figure that we'll out. Figure we've, that got, out. we've got another top there. Um, the, the timing belt is loosey goosey, but that's because it's been taken off of tension for some strange reason. Um, so we will be investigating this. We will put a new. 
timing belt on it before we do anything. Yeah. Um, we'll check the timing and crank it over by hand first thing. Um, what what happened was um, my, my old man bought the car and he was very excited about it. And But it had a, an issue that when he started it, the oil light wouldn't go out for about 10, 10, 12 seconds after starting it, which worried him, which is understandable. I mean, this is a Lotus engine, lots of trouble, usually serious. <laughs> um, so he, he started putting an accu, accu sump on it. Um, but little did he know that, um, only now we know because we have another Lotus in here um, and that's had an expert engine rebuild. Um, that that's just how they were. Completely that, that normal. Is, that, that is completely 100% normal for the engine. Mm, your dad the oil was chasing light. a gremlin that wasn't there. Yeah. So uh, we're going to remove of the accu sump and um, put, it, put back it back to standard. to standard and get this engine bay looking as nice as it could look. Because this is the paintwork in here is nice and it's very promising looking in here so mm. we're going to get it as nice as we can with as little work as we can get away with obviously this has to be right if this is wrong then pfft. so we'll get this right and then we'll sort bits of body work out get it look in the business get it look in the business and then it's uh shipping it off to a new owner mm. It's going to be amazing when it's done. I mean, it is. this is one hell of an engine. Look at those carbs, eh? I like trumpets. Plen plenty to do, I would say. Plenty to do. This is the AccuSump system Lewis was telling you about. Mm. We shall be sorting that out. But luckily, we have everything here for this. Yeah, well, I mean, all the parts. Well, it was running and driving at one point. Um, it was only, like I said, it was only stopped because of the oil light problem that my dad was worried about. Mm. But let's have a look inside. Do you want to look inside? Do you want to look inside? Let's have a look what we've got. Really, really nice seats. These are in really good condition. Parts probably shouldn't Fantastic be stored on. So just need a bit of a clean, and they are stunningly good. Pressure, this oil pressure is it? Oh, is it temper oil? Oil probably pressure because it'll be part of the accurate system. So that's not standard either. Don't know why these are in it. Okay, so I'll we'll have to take that out. Um, what's in the What's in the back? The wing mirrors, some paperwork there. The rad parcel shelf. Red. The cloth on the back seats is a bit baggy. We'll have to have that retentioned. You think? Oh, it's easy to do. Is it? Yeah. Well, the headlining is disgusting. Oh dear. Wow. That's, That's going to need, need cleaning. some cleaning. Luckily, I have just a tool to do that. Just a tool. Gross. All right. Um, it's only got 67,000 miles on the clock. Really good mileage. Such a cool retro dash, isn't it? It is actually, yeah. With like the crosshairs mm. in the middle of the... And now, so look in the back. Fantastic one-piece glass rear hatch on these. Give it a twist the roo. Amazing. Well, there's the Accu Sun. So that's all in. Um, this this must be the boot cover. Um, Looks like some old dash struts in there. These must be replacements. Mm. But all in all, look at that. Solid. Nothing wrong in there. A dirty, but a bit dirty. But nothing. Right. A bit of a scrub and fix. Speaking of a scrub, yeah. Should we give it a wipe down? Make it look a bit nicer. Yeah, let's give it a wipe down and see how she shines up.
Oh, we've touched it with water, it's going to rot five times faster. No, it's not. Well, that rot is absorbing the moisture. Mm. Feed me, Seymour. It's like, it's like a bloody gremlin. Don't wash it after 2009! <laughs> <laughs> Interesting colour coded um, alloys. You don't really see that a lot, do you? No, I don't think that's normal. Um, I think what what is directly behind you is normal. Yeah. Oh, what's that on it? A socket? A big yeah. nut? It's a big nut. Don't laugh at the word big nut. <laughs> I can't help it. Why is there a big nut on the car? Has every wheel got a big nut? <laughs> yes. Hold on. Yes. <laughs> Last wheel. Yes. How weird. This is what they should look like. Look at these. Ooh la la. That's it from us for today. Thank you for watching. Um, as always. And you're going to say something now. Um. We really enjoy making videos for you all, and it sounds so crap. I don't even know what you're gonna say. That's <laughs> always. That's always we don't get a clue what we're doing. <laughs> right, again, <coughs> from the top. Right. From the top. From the top. Yeah, go on. From the bottom. From the bottom. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, that's all we have for you for this uh, delightful episode of whatever it is we do on a daily basis. <laughs> uh, um, thanks well, for joining have, us, dragging all the cars out. Yeah, we have given ourselves more work to do. Yay! Yay. Um, but this is for a very good cause. There's no yes. better cause than family. So Yeah, get this all buttoned get this up. all sorted out and out the door. If you are interested in buying this car... Um, drop us a up. message on the socials yeah. you know you can find us on facebook instagram youtube just give it get us a message you can email us as well at whitelandrestorations at gmail.com um don't forget to subscribe that's oh, yeah. the most important thing you can do subscribe subscribe and thanks again for watching yeah see you next time see see you next time see you next time I'll see you tomorrow see you later <laughs>